All right, so I am going to walk you through how to make an affiliate marketing website using Rebel Website Builder. And so first I just pick my template and you can review the template inside after you select one. You don't have to use that one, it's just to show you a preview. And you can scroll up and down there and you can see all the different pages that come with that template. You don't have to use all these pages. They're just the uh, standard ones that come with it. And so you can select a template that is related to your niche. Or if you, if you want a business website, then make sure you select a business template so you get all the correct pages for the business site. When you find your template, you can just hit edit and then you can change things inside how you want. Like I don't want this contact us form, so I'm going to delete it. You can use the built-in contact forms if you want, or you can use one from your autoresponders. I'm gonna add a my own autoresponder uh, lead magnet up top here a bit later. Right now I'm just play with the settings for the main header. I'm just adjusting the colors there, trying different things. If I want to try different filters, I can come down here and do the filters. Here's the opacity. And I want that to stand out a bit more, so I'll change it to black. Everything inside is pretty easy to edit. You can just click on it and then you can edit it. So if I want to edit any text I just click on that text and edit it and then in a bit I'll show you how to rearrange things like if you want to move the text around how you can do that so I'll just add my menu header up here remove that I don't need any icon up there if you have your own logo or something you can put it up there in the menu header edit our subtitle let's make it darker okay now let's try this as a fixed image yeah okay. I kind of like that as a fixed image the text and everything move over top of the image and here we can also set an effect like a slow zoom so it'll zoom and also stay fixed at the same time almost giving it kind of an animated effect like the uh, balloons are coming a bit closer to you now down here if you want to remove any of this stuff you can remove it I'm gonna go ahead and delete this so I'm just gonna add my own things inside what I want and I'm going to add a blog since this is an affiliate marketing site and I'm going to make it geared towards camping gear so I'm going to select a blog post that I think looks closest to it or that fits the style that I like the most for this type of blog we don't want these so we're just going to delete them And now we can adjust our blog settings over here and we can actually make it look pretty much however we want with these settings. So if we use the uh, Mazenite, Mazenite, then the images will appear as big as they are. And if you do the fit or regular, then the images will either fit. Over here in the layout, you can see you can have the text below the image or on top of the image and if you don't want those buttons or the subtitle you can easily delete those as well this one will change the location of the text in the image and that one will make it stretched so it looks a bit bigger takes up more space I like that I think it's more eye-catching 
Now you can use the images in the media center or you can upload your own images and use your own images. I'll just use a couple from the media library. And since we're dealing with nature, uh, I'll go ahead and look for nature ones related to camping and nature gear. Replace this one as well. There's also uh, videos you can choose from and I'll show you a bit later how you can either use our stock videos for backgrounds or images on there or for you can use any video from YouTube or Vimeo. I'm just changing all these images to be more related to camping or nature or hiking or walking or any kind of gear that would be used for outside. Mm -hmm. I think they look like they're going to go camping, so I'll use those. Okay, now I'm going to delete that one. You don't have to be deleting all these different sections. I'm just cleaning it up. In the Pro Settings, you can adjust all the different widths and sizes of everything on the blog. And then here you can select what element you're going to adjust the space, spacing on. Here we have effects. And if we go to hover effects, it's the same as what we put in our blog header. So we'll keep it the same with a slow zoom. So you can see our header is a slow zoom. And then we come down here and we got the slow zoom as well. So we're keeping it uniform. If you want, you can change it up like make it fixed, but it's going to cut off the image. So it's best if you make it a uh, single, if you're going to do fixed, and then you have a uh, kind of a cool effect as you scroll down, you can make multiple ones fixed as well. And of course you can make the text and the buttons and everything on top of the blog post images as big as you want. Right now they're pretty tiny. And I'd suggest making your text and call to actions much bigger. But I'm just showing you the, the basic ways to adjust the different settings and how things look. So I'm just testing out a few different options and looks and try more in a row, maybe three per row doesn't really look good with the fixed backgrounds. I'll have to change those to So now let's fix these up, change them back to normal. And I can get rid of that black spacing in the background easily. So we'll go back to the blog settings and we'll make it Mazonite because I kind of like the look of that. Now I just tried to add two blog posts right there by clicking on the add blog post, but I clicked it too fast and so it says it's going to take some time to load them in. You want to click it just one at a time. I was impatient and I double clicked it. So we'll give that a second to load. In the meantime, you can manage your layouts of how the different blog posts appear. And if you want to replace it with one of your own images when it's in Mazonite, you'll see that it changes to fit the size of the image. So if it won't cut it off, it'll fit it inside. So that's a pretty nice thing about Mazonite. That's one of the reasons that I like that one. I think it looks pretty professional. And then well, you can put a clear background if you want a clear background or this is going to change it for everything, everything in the layer. Add a video. And as I said before, you can use any one from any video from Vimeo or YouTube. You just place the code in the little slot here, and then you have the autoplay, cover, mute, and loop options. 
if you want it kind of like a background then you'd leave all of them on if you want it to be a video that would actually play then you would uh, select or turn off all of those and then as you can see here we have the media center where we have some different videos that you can use related to nature cars and uh, just general basic things to use for your backgrounds just to save you some time so I'm gonna change this back so we can see it clearly and let's add another section now I'm gonna add my call to action and my opt-in form to try to collect leads so I'm just going to choose a basic header and you'll see in a bit why I chose the header like this uh, edit my text and as I said before it's camping and nature so try to think of something related to that I'm not very good at coming up with uh, lead magnet for camping in nature because it's not my niche but I did my best now I'm gonna add my opt-in form and you can use your opt-in form from your code from MailChimp or Aweber get response any any of them out there they all have the HTML option so you just copy your HTML for your opt-in form there's also the option to use the built-in one on the website if you don't have an autoresponder but we use ConvertKit, so that's why we have those uh, HTML forms in there. And I can change the position of the text here in the slideshow, slideshow settings. And since it's a slideshow, you can also add more slides and manage slides. So if you want to add more than one opt-in form or more than one lead magnet, you can have them automatically scrolling in here or manually so that the person has to click to go to the next one. And that, that's a nice option because maybe if one of your lead magnets to collect emails isn't attractive, maybe the next one will be. So maybe they're sitting there and the first one isn't attractive and then they see the slider go to your second lead magnet and that one is attractive and then they uh, opt in. So I didn't save before. I should have saved my page before. That's why that reverted. So I just changed it back real quick. And let's try a black background color. No. Maybe a gray. Oh, well, anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on the colors. Let's just save it. And whatever you save it here, uh, it's importance. So save it something that is going to be related to your website or your website, your main website name. Now I can do more edits if I want. I can change the different effects. I guess since I have the video, I don't want the slow zoom because it'll slow zoom on the video, but I don't want the video to zoom in. You could if you want, but it might look a bit strange and the video wouldn't be in frame, but it would depend on the video you're using. So if you're using a big video background, then that might be cool to have the slow zoom on the video background. Now for editing your post, you just have to click on the post there, the post button, and then click edit post and it will automatically generate a post. And you can put your own images and add things inside. You can add other sections as well. So you can have many different things on your post page. And also depending on the type of blog format you chose in the beginning will also determine a bit about the way the post layout looks so your website style will affect the layout of the post you can change in the settings on the or you can add your own pictures as well like that and also you can change the settings in the same way that 
as changing the settings on the main page for adjusting the look. Just click on the little blue cog in the right and you can adjust things in the blog post just the same way as you did on your home page. So now you can go up here to manage your pages. You can rename the page because we don't want it called a place. So walk a thousand miles, advertising some nice hiking boots. I don't have any images for that here now, so I'll just use one of my old blog post images. Let's add another page, a review page to review tents. Let's add it to the menu by clicking that. And now we have our review page where we would could also style it in the same way that we're styling the blog post layout. So if you want to keep like a common type of theme and look, you can, or if you want to have a more clean look for your reviews, you can do that as well. You can arrange the layout in the same way that you, I showed you how to arrange the layout for the other ones. You can add items there, manage the items. Don't forget to click done. And then up here, when you're finished, you can go back to the home page and go over to page settings. And now we're going to add a share or a share buttons. And these share buttons, we have the Facebook and Google and all of them. It's there in the settings, but I'm using up too much time, so I'm going to start going a little bit more faster. Now we're going to add a pop-up. And we've got a whole bunch of different types of pop-up templates and there's other places where you can add pop-ups there in the training videos in this page where I talk more about pop-ups. So if you want to see more about pop-ups, check out the training video on the pop-ups. Uh, we'll make it a timer and we also have the other on scroll on exit. We're going to set this one to zero so that it pops up and before anyone can see any of our content first they see the pop-up so set that to zero uh, now let's leave the width as is and let's go up here to change the basic look of it to something that one has shoes so shoes are good for hiking and you could change that you don't have to have the email there you can just put ever whatever you want right here inside of the pop-up can edit the field or you can use your own autoresponder code inside it's up to you you can add your own buttons. You can pretty much edit the pop-up the same as a web one of the pages. So we got the pop-up. We got the share buttons on the side. We got the blog. We got a nice banner that's got some cool effects. And of course, there's quite a few changes I could make to make this look a lot better. But you can see that I got the whole site pretty much up and going and then the only thing I've got left to do is add my title, my keywords, my description. Uh, these are going to help for the SEO and also for how your page appears when people click on it, meaning the title of the page at the top. So be sure to fill out this for every page, not just the home page. Like for your blog post page, you'll have to fill out the SEO and do the keywords for that blog. If you use Google Analytics, add your Google Analytics in here, and then you're all set. You just hit the button and you're good to go. Then you just publish the site and you can connect your own domain if you want. And we have a whole lot of other options and stuff, but that's just one. I just wanted to show the basic walkthrough of setting up a site for affiliate marketing. All right, thanks for checking out the video. If there's other types of videos you'd like to see me cover for how to make with Rebel Website Builder, just let me know and I'll make them. All right, see you later.